Hello guys, this is Magix Ray, and I'm showing you a legendary weapon called Shredded Nukem. I will be showing this weapon off in action, and also we'll be doing some first impressions. It's level 50 with 16,178 damage, 77% accuracy, 41% handling, 3.8 seconds reload time, 0.52 seconds fire rate, magazine size is 3, and the red text says Name Dropper, plus 54% weapon damage, plus 1,000 splash damage radius, 1.5 times weapon zoom. It's a Torg rocket launcher, and I got it from this area called VIP Tower, and it's from this uh, guy called Loco Chantel, which once you spawn in, it's the first mini boss you encounter. There's also um, a bottle there, and there's a statue um, you can put on fire there. May also go grab them for the other legendaries. Let's give this gun a shot. I am on Mayhem 4 as well, so we got plus 20% bullet damage, and then there's all the other stats. The unique, the legendary effect is Mortar Rockets with large splash radius. Also want to mention this is a returning legendary from Borderlands 2. It's a vanilla legendary in that game. Um, and this is now the Borderlands 3 version. Now you may want to like look down at the screen a little bit because it does kind of shoot upwards. So uh, let's get some shots on so if i look down here and shoot you can see it kind of hits the enemy at almost directly as well so your crosshair is not accurate if i if i uh, run back here before i get slaughtered look if if i do this you can see that it kind of over shoots so you look down a little bit more and then you can get a better shot so crosshair is a bit misleading unfortunately and just be careful i was that far away but i still died because this gun has a huge blast radius it was very easy to kill yourself in Borderlands 2, and it's very easy to kill yourself in Borderlands 3. I'm pretty sure there's like a certain shield that could probably make you resistant to fire or explosions in this case. I'm not sure. There might be an item that may let, uh, help you not die from these rockets. Just don't know what it is right now. Uh, other than that, this gun is not too bad on Mayhem 4 so far. Iron Cannon was the last video I did before, and that gun is a bit ridiculous, but this gun here, it's nowhere near as, as close as good, but it's still definitely worth using. I normally I normally uh, test these, these out on True Vault Hunter mode. I couldn't do that in this case because it killed him too easily, so Mayhem 4 is a better pick for this sort of uh, gun. Other than that, I'll make this my last enemy. Oh, I killed myself anyway, so we'll just do this real quick. Alright, there we go, 102k damage. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and see you later.